Hello there. So I got asked a question about Visual Studio Code so uh, and how to use that with NS3. The problem with, use, uh, with NS3 is that we use a tool called WAF tool to run our program. So we just do WAF run and then we have the name of the program. This is a Python based tool. And uh, I think you, I guess you could configure it with uh, Visual Studio Code, but it really you have to uh, every time you run it, you really have to uh, type the name of the program, right? So whatever uh, program you have, you have to to have the name like that. Uh, and so uh, it beats the purpose of just having a click and then running the program, right? But for Visual Studio Code. Uh, uh, you want to be able to set the uh, syntax highlighting and um, uh, auto completion because these features are very useful. So Visual Studio Code is a, an IDE, an editor, that is available for Ubuntu, like what, we, what I have here, available for Windows, also available for Mac, and it's free and it has a lot of plugins. So I installed it here already. You can install it from uh, Microsoft's website. And I believe you could also do apt-get install uh, uh, VS Code or something like that. But you could just download the, 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 the dib file and just install it, the, the .dbn file. So when you have it installed, whether on Ubuntu or Windows or, um, or Mac, you want to type code. So code basically is the executable for uh, Visual Studio Code and then dot on the, uh, so that you open the directory. And so this is where I have the base NS3 or the root NS3 directory. So this is a necessity. So we do that. What did I do? This is useful. Uh, this is necessary, sorry, because it creates it have a, um, when you open it at this level of directory, you can have access to the build file. So every time you create NS3 file, uh, it's in this directory build um, is where uh, the executables and the header files are there. So all the header files are in one directory. That's why we do include NS3 dash, uh, okay, slash, sorry, uh, class name because it's under this directory. Anyway, so when we open it, first of all, you wanna make sure that you have a C++, uh, the, the, uh, the C++ plugin installed. So the one I use is uh, this one from Microsoft. So if you click on this icon, this is the, uh, what you call it, the uh, add-ons, extensions, yeah. And so you could look for C, C++. So I'm using this one, which is, it's even a preview. It's not like a final version. So point zero, uh, 0 0.26.3, uh, it has IntelliSense debugging and what, what not. IntelliSense is a, is a Microsoft word for, you know, auto completion and, you know, being smart about what code is going on. And you can see this is published by Microsoft and you can see it was downloaded 9 million times. It has this much reviews. Anyway, so if you don't have it, you install it. Okay, so that out of the way, see over here, I have this uh, class that I created. And so when I do UUU, it does auto completion with functions that I created. So I think I have get value as a function I have created in that class. Very useful um, indeed. So N and N, for example, I could see what function I have, for example, get application, get a device, get ID, and so on. So to have that done, uh, we will, on, on uh, when you have, a, what do you call this thing? Um, uh, Visual Studio Code open, I will uh, do a Control Shift P. So Control Shift P, I could go to C, C++, Edit Configuration UI. Now let me click this one. So over here, there's a lot of things. The compiler really doesn't matter. Uh, I'm not using it. I'm not using NS, uh, sorry. I'm not using Visual Studio Code to compile. I'll skip over this until I get to include path. So this is, this is what's used for 
the auto completion. As you can see here, one include path per line. I have here workspace folder build NS3 uh, star star. I also have just in case home. This is my username addola documents, and this is basically the directory where I run my NS3 programs. So this one here. All right, and so I want build. And so I have it here, and then basically save it. There is a save? I don't think there's a save. It saves it automatically. All right. Another way to do this, Control shift p uh, edit configuration JSON. So you could edit the JSON file. So I could go to the JSON file. As you can see in JSON file, I have here the include path, and these are, you know, one, one per line. So it's comma. So I added this one. Uh, because I don't think this one was working perfectly for me. All right, don't worry about the compiler because we're not using it to comp uh, to compile programs. I mean, I guess I guess you could really work with it and use the WAF tool, but then you have to specify the uh, the 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 program name to run with uh, in S3. So that's that's really uh, um, not that helpful. Anyway, uh, third way to do it. So because you opened, let me go out of here. Because we did this code dot, uh, 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 a directory was called, uh, sorry, was created. Uh, how do we do this? Uh, ls dash a. So a, a hidden directory was called, uh, was created uh, vs code, right? So. If I list the thing on the things under VS code, I can see that this is the JSON file that I was editing. So I can do the same thing like that. Say P, uh, sorry, that VS code, uh, dot VS code. And what does it see? Yeah. So this is the JSON file that I was editing or looking at in uh, Visual Studio Code, in case you want to use uh, Vim to open it. But uh, that's about it. That's how you uh, should configure uh, Visual Studio Code to work with your NS3. And it, it's, it's very uh, pleasant to work with. Uh, I mean, I use Eclipse sometimes, and sometimes I use this one. But um, uh, Visual Studio Code is a very good IDE. I like it. And it's free and available on Mac. Ubuntu and Windows, that's why, uh, what, that's what sold me on it. I mean, some people use uh, IDEs like Atom or whatever, but I only use this one and Eclipse. Okay, I think that uh, about covers it. Um, there's a lot of interesting things. So there's also auto completion for the files here. So as you can see, I have, you know, different files, um, uh, all the, possible headers and so on. Okay, and that's it. Thank you very much. I hope you uh, find this useful for your work and makes your life easier. Thank you and have a nice day. Uh, comment, like, share, subscribe, whatever. But uh, if you have questions, just uh, type it in a comment. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.